Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your computer or laptop through wireless. To start off with, all you need to do is plug in your Bluetooth adapter. If you don't have one, the one I'm using in this video is in the description below. Or if you've got a laptop, then it should already have Bluetooth built into it. But you now need to plug in your adapter, which I'm about to do now. And I've done that, and as you can see in the bottom right hand corner now of my screen, I do have a Bluetooth logo. You now need to right click on that Bluetooth logo and press add Bluetooth device. Or if you don't have a Bluetooth logo down there, you can go to the bottom left hand corner of your screen. And you can click and just type in Bluetooth. And then we've got Bluetooth and other device settings. If we just click on there. And then now if you press on add Bluetooth or other device, as you can see my Bluetooth is on, which is what you need. You need to turn it on if it's off. You now need to turn on, actually before you turn on your PlayStation 4 controller, just click on add Bluetooth or other device. And then click on Bluetooth and you now need to hold down the main PlayStation button and the share button here. You need to hold it down really hard. like that and now you should have a flashing light repeatedly going on as you can see there in this video and as you can see it's straight away come up with wireless controller input you now need to click on that and it will start connecting and straight away as you can see wireless controller is now connected if we press done you can see it's there now which is absolutely great it means the controller and the PC are now hooked up together. We can now load up a game. I'm just going to go ahead and load up a game in Steam. If I go ahead and open up Steam quickly. Once Steam has loaded, if you go to the top left hand corner and go down to settings. Once you're on here, if you go down to controller and then click on to general controller settings. You can now tick the PS4 configuration support. Basically, this lets you configure the PlayStation 4 controller in games that don't support the controller. So you can basically use the controller in there. And as you can see here, it says detected controllers, PlayStation 4 controller, which means everything is working absolutely fine. If we now close that and boot up a game, and there you go, as you can see, I am now using the PlayStation 4 controller in 7 days to die, wirelessly. I hope this tutorial has helped, if it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.